Okay, so uh, I'm also going to have an input over here for to let the user actually uh, change the value of the counter by himself without actually clicking one by one. So let's say he wants it to be 100, he's going to have to keep kicking it until 100. So I'm just going to give him an input that he can put whatever number he wants. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm just going to put these uh, buttons one by one vertically. So under the counter, I'm just going to put a break line. And I'm going to copy this and put it under each button as well. So if I save this, as you can see now, they're all uh, one by one under the counter. Okay, so now I'm going to put uh, input under this reset. So let's go ahead and do this. So we'll have an input. Sorry, input. And this input, the initial, oh, we're going to put a placeholder for this. So we'll say uh, enter value, for example. If I save this, as you can see, it says enter value. And I'm going to set the. Okay, so now when uh, the user clicks enter, we want to change the counter value. So we want to get to whatever the person puts inside the input, and he clicks enter. We want to change that to the counter value. So to do this, we'll do on key up. So whenever the user releases a key, so for example, you will understand this right now. So we'll receive an event in this arrow function. And uh, I'm just going to alert, for example, H. So now, whenever I, I click a key, for example, I click H, and I, when I release it, it does this function, which alerts H. So the thing is, we want to use this, but we want to check if you clicked Enter. So to do this, we want to, uh, let's check for Enter. So console.log, I'm going to console.log the event, and save this. And now if I inspect and go to console, and I'm going to click enter and as you can see we have the event over here and I'm going to check so the key code for enter is 13 or oh, actually no we'll use the key the key is enter so we'll, if the, we'll check if key is enter then we'll uh, do what we want to do so we can check the key over here so we'll do over here so it's going to be event dot key so for uh, for now I'm just going to alert event dot key just to show you so save this, close this, and if I click something, as you can see, the key is B, I wrote B. If I click enter, sorry, okay, and then if I click enter, the key is enter. So I want to check for enter key. So backspace, yes. So I want to check for the enter key. So, sorry, cancel. So to do this, so we check if enter.key is equal to enter, then, that, then it's right. So over here we'll do if enter.key is sorry what's this uh, I'm, I'm going to sorry one second okay new line so if enter dot key what the heck what's this enter dot key is equal to enter then we will call a function for uh, changing the value so we'll, we'll make a function over here so const uh, for example call it change so change counter value this is going to be our function and we'll receive the uh, value of the input so value and if enter.key equal to enter we're going to call this function so we'll do change counter value and we'll pass in the value of this uh, of this input so it's going to be a uh, uh, just one second, as you can see we have an error, enter is not defined. This is because I wrote enter.key, it's meant to be event.key. So if I save this, the error is gone. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so we're going to call the change counter value and we're going to pass in the value of the input. So to receive this, we'll do event.target.value. This would get us the value of the input. And just to show you, I'm going to uh, remove this for now. Well, actually, I'll keep it there. But I'm going to... Uh, so we're going to be passing in the value to the change counter value and I'm going to console.log the value over here just to show you Oh actually I'll, sh I'll uh, console.log the event so the value is basically going to be the event just so you don't get confused so I'm going to console.log the event just to show you where the value is so if I refresh, click enter and now I'm going to inspect element check my console, go to info uh, as you can see the v uh, we have target somewhere here so target yes 
and we have value. So this is the value of the inputs. Right now it's nothing. Okay, so that's how we receive the value. So we'll pass in the event dot target the value, and over here we are going to do sets counter, and this would basically will change it to the value. So sets counter, and we'll pass in the value. But we need to change this to integer first. So to do this, we'll do all you need to do pass int. So parse int. And okay, so save this. And now, uh, okay, so everything should be good. Yes. Okay, so if I put uh, sorry, put some numbers, a hundred. Click enter. As you can see now, the counter is a hundred. And actually, I don't think we need to do uh, parse int over here. Because uh, we can give this input a type, which is number. So, sorry, type, number, yes. And uh, now it's going to be a number. We'll be receiving a number, so we don't need to change it to an integer. So now if I refresh and put, for example, 89, as you can see, it's working. Okay, so now we can change the value based on uh, using this input. Uh, what I want to do now is actually change the value, uh, change how much we are incrementing by. So right now we are incrementing by one. Actually, what, what, there's an issue right now. I guess we do need to do pass int because it's doing it as a string. So we still need to do pass int. But let's keep this type number. That's important. So pass int. Sorry, one s over here. And over here we'll do value. So save this. And if I refresh, okay, so ninety. Click enter. Now, if I increment, there's still an issue. So let's check the issue. I don't see any issue with the code. Let's actually check this again. So 56. Enter. Click on. Oh no, it's working actually. I don't know for some reason it wasn't working at the beginning, but it's still working. Okay. So perfect. Okay. Yeah. So now uh, I want to have an input to let the user choose how much we are incrementing by. So right now we are incrementing by one. I want to change this based on the user what he wants. So I'm going to have another input. So I'm going to have a break line. And I'll have another input. And this is also going to be type number. So I'll explain what type number is right now. So sorry, not number, not here, inside the string. So basically, the type number doesn't let you add in any text. Uh, text. So if you try to add some text, for example, jkh, it's not working. But if I want to add a number, it lets me, and I can also increment the number and decrement it over here. So that's the cool thing about type number. Okay, so we have an input now, type number, and I want to do a on change. So actually, no, I'll do the same as we did with, with this one. So on key up, let's uh, give it a placeholder first. So enter value, enter value, and we'll give it an on key up. So when the user releases his key, just like we done with this one. And we'll receive an event arrow function. Check if that event doc, if the key is an enter event dot key is equal to enter. Then we're going to call a function. So we'll call it change incrementer. Change incrementer. And uh, we'll pass in the event dot target dot value just like last time. So it could be this. Paste it in. So we need to make this function, as you can see, change increment is not defined, we need to define this function. So const, this is also going to be an error function, change incrementer equals error function, we'll receive a value. And we're just going to do, uh, we're going to have a new state for the incrementer, so const incrementer and set incrementer. And the use state is uh, it's going to be at the beginning. It's going to be one because uh, we're going to be replacing this minus one and plus one by this set incrementer. So by default, it's going to be one. So I'm going to remove these plus one. I'm going to do plus incrementer. Sorry, incrementer. And same thing for this minus one. I'm going to do the same thing here. Sorry, minus incrementer. So now it's going to be plus one and minus one by default. But we can uh, we'll let the user change it based on his, what he wants. So now we'll do set incrementer value. So we'll pass in the value of what the user wants. So now if I save this and everything should be working. So if I put like for example 5, click enter. And now if I click plus, as you can see it's adding 5. But uh, we need to do parse int just like for the other one. 
just like we did with the old one to make sure that it's a number so parse int change it to an integer value save this refresh give it five click enter plus as you can see it's incrementing by five and we can decrement as well by five and we can reset this and we can add uh, change the value by 100 make it 100 okay so i hope you have enjoyed this class please uh, check out my other classes if you have enjoyed this one thank you